beautiful skin, amazing body structure, the black and white penguin. Hello and welcome to Z. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. Penguins, Orders Phoeniciforms, Family Sphenicity, are aquatic flightless birds. They are nearly entirely distributed in the southern hemisphere, with only one species found north of the equator, the Galapagos penguin. Penguins have countershaded dark and white plumage and flippers for swimming, making them well adapted to live in the sea. Most penguins eat krill, fish, squid, and other sea creatures that they catch with their beak and swallow whole while swimming. A penguin's tongue is spined, and its jaws are robust enough to grab slippery prey. They dwell on land for around half of their life and in the sea for the rest. The emperor penguin, Aptenidite's first teri, is the largest extant species. Adults stand around 1.1 meters, 3 feet 7 inches, tall and weigh 35 kilograms, on average, 77 pounds. The little blue penguin, Eudiptula minor, sometimes known as the fairy penguin, is the smallest penguin species, standing around 33 centimeters, 13 in, tall and weighing 1 kilogram, 2.2 pounds. Today, larger penguins prefer colder areas, whereas smaller penguins prefer temperate or tropical climes. Some prehistoric penguins were as tall or as hefty as an adult person. There was a significant diversity of species in subantarctic regions, including at least one enormous species roughly 2,000 kilometers south of the equator 35 million years ago during the late Eocene, when the environment was noticeably warmer than it is today. The form of a penguin allows it to be incredibly nimble underwater. They push themselves with their flippers and use their feet and tail as rudders. Penguins have a waterproof coat of overlapping short feathers. They have a thick coating of fat that serves as insulation. Penguins eat little fish and krill, which they catch one by one. Other marine mammals, such as leopard seals and killer whales, are their primary predators. Skewers and sheathbills consume penguin eggs and chicks as well. Penguins can be found only in the southern hemisphere. Antarctic coasts and subantarctic islands have the highest populations. There are 18 penguin species, five of which live in Antarctica. For more species can be found on subantarctic islands. Breeding. Penguins, with the exception of the yellow-eyed and fjordland species, breed in enormous colonies that can range in size from as few as 100 pairs for genta penguins to several hundred thousand for king, macaroni, and chinstrap penguins. Living in colonies promotes a high amount of social interaction among birds, resulting in a diverse repertoire of visual and auditory displays in all penguin species. Agonistic behaviors are ones intended to confront or drive away other people, or to placate and avoid conflict with them. Penguins form monogamous partnerships for the duration of the mating season, albeit the rate at which the same pair recoup less varies greatly. The majority of penguins lay two eggs in a clutch, but the two largest species, the emperor and king penguins, lay only one. With the exception of the emperor penguin, which is entirely male, all penguins share incubation duties. As one of the couple feeds at sea, these incubation shifts can span days or even weeks. Penguins typically lay only one brood per season, with the exception of the tiny penguin, which can raise two or three broods in a season. When compared to the weight of the parent birds, penguin eggs are the smallest of any bird species, at 52 g, 2 ounces, the tiny penguin egg is 4.7% of its mom's weight, and the 450 g, 1 pound, emperor penguin egg is 2.3%. 
The comparatively thick shell accounts for 10 to 16 percent of the weight of a penguin egg, apparently to mitigate the effects of dehydration and to limit the danger of rupture in an unfavorable nesting habitat. The yolk is also substantial, accounting about 22 to 31 percent of the egg. When a chick is born, some yolk is left over, which is supposed to assist the chick survive if the parents are late returning with food. When emperor penguin mothers lose a chick, they may attempt to steal another mother's chick, but usually fail because other females in the area have helped the defending mother keep her chick. Chicks in some species, such as emperor and king penguins, congregate in big groups known as creches. Habitat and Distribution Although practically all penguin species are indigenous to the southern hemisphere, they are not restricted to cold areas such as Antarctica. In reality, just a few penguin species dwell thus far south. The temperate zone is home to several species, including the Galapagos penguin, which lives as far north as the Galapagos Islands, but only because of the cold, rich waters of the Antarctic Humboldt Current, which runs around these islands. Also, despite the fact that the climates of the Arctic and Antarctica are similar, there are no penguins in the Arctic. According to several scholars, penguins are a good example of Bergman's rule, which states that larger-bodied populations dwell at higher latitudes than smaller-bodied populations. There is significant debate about this, and several other scientists have pointed out that there are ancient penguin species that contradict this concept, as well as that ocean currents and upwellings are likely to have had a bigger impact on species variety than latitude alone. Angola, Antarctica, Argentina, Australia, Chile, Namibia, New Zealand, and South Africa all have significant penguin populations. According to a study published in Antarctic Science, satellite photographs and photos released in 2018 suggest that the population of 2 million on France's remote Al Au ex cochons has fallen, with only 200,000 living. The Penguin Character Everyone perceives the penguin differently, aggressive yet soft, outgoing but shy, stable yet flighty. It's like the black and white thing, the penguin only shows you the side it wants you to see. So, whether you like or dislike this darling devil, you have to admit that he is a fascinating and enigmatic guy. Penguins are doomed to spend their lives on the ground. Because they are unable to fly, they have no outlet for their extra energy other than their creative abilities and emotional outbursts. Penguins are poetic, artistic, and intellectually bright, and they have no equal as authors. However, if they are unable to channel their emotions positively, the accompanying turbulence is detrimental to their relationships and professions. Seven interesting penguin facts. One, penguins are good swimmers. The sleek, barrel-like bodies of penguin seabirds reduce drag while swimming. Their wings have been adapted to form thin, stiff flippers that produce propulsion, moving force, while swimming. Because of this ability, most penguins can swim to depths of roughly 20 meters in search of food, with some venturing as far as 30 meters. Two, they have a distinct bone structure. Unlike the bones of other birds, penguin bones are solid, not hollow. This allows them to stay underwater for as long as they like. Penguins have a waddling gait when observed on land due to their short, thick legs that are positioned far back from the torso. Three, penguins do not have teeth. Penguins, like their bird cousins, lack teeth. They do, however, have spines inside their beaks that resemble teeth. They also have these spines on their mouths, which point backwards. These enable them to keep fish or other items in their mouths and can also aid in swallowing. 4. They can swim at speeds of more than 10 miles per hour. Gentoos, the fastest penguins, can reach speeds of up to 20 miles per hour, although most species go at a more leisurely 4 to 7 miles per hour. 5. Penguins have no teeth. Fleshy spines within their mouths aid in the swallowing of fish. 
The protrusions face backward to aid in the passage of the cats down their throats. 6. Once a year, they go through a catastrophic molt. Penguins lose all of their feathers during the two to three week period and they are unable to swim or fish until the vital insulation comes back. 7. Emperor penguins lay eggs on their feet. Under a loose fold of skin, male penguins keep them warm. They remain in this position for months, not even leaving to eat. This is all for now. Thank you for being with us.